Filter socks are excellent at trapping particles in the water to produce crystal clear aquarium water. Now you'll notice this style filter sock has a plastic ring around the top. This is designed to fit in what's called a sump filter, and those sump filters fit below the aquarium in the cabinet. And how a filter sock works is water actually comes from a display tank, comes down a pipe, goes into our filter sock, water drains out the bottom of the filter sock, goes into the sump, and then is returned to the display aquarium via a water pump. Now, these filters will get clogged up and dirty over time, so we do want to remove them. And you'll notice inside here is a simple little handle that makes it easy to remove from the filter. You'll see the larger size has two handles on it. Now, these are the most common size filter socks we use in the aquarium industry. This is a four inch, this is a seven inch filter sock. Now, you'll notice why people love our filter socks is just so heavy duty. We use a very thick polyester material and you'll see the stitching is actually triple stitching. So these we want to be able to reuse many times over. Now you'll notice the stitching actually at the factory comes off the end. You don't want to cut this stitching because then it will unravel. Just leave the stitching like it is. If the stitching bothers you at all, put a couple drops of super glue on there. Now these filter socks are available in different sizes. You can go to an 8 inch, about a 10 and a half inch, and a 14 inch. On our 7 inch size, you can get an 8 inch an 11 inch or a 6 inch long filter sock. Now it depends on the length or the height of your sump. You want your filter sock to be maybe about a half inch into off the bottom of your, your sump and that'll make it work optimally. Now the filter socks, as I mentioned earlier, these are available in polyester and they also are available in polypropylene. Now we choose polyester because polypropylene, after it gets washed several times, it seems to peel up like a sweater does. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is sometimes when these come from the factory, the polypropylene do, they have an oil on them and it makes the protein skimmer go crazy. And so for those reasons, all of our filter socks are made out of polyester. Now the pore size is important and this is what you're going to choose. Now if you have a very tight pore, then it's going to trap more debris. And so these are available in a 100 micron and a 200 micron size. The 100 micron actually has a smaller pore size, meaning it's great, it's going to trap finer particles, but it also means it's going to clog up faster than the 200 micron size. So most people typically in the hobby use a 200 micron filter sock most of the time, and then once in a while they may swap it out. They really want to polish their water and use a 100 micron filter sock. Now, these filter socks do get dirty over time, so we're going to have to change them regularly. And what's going to happen is the, the, the organics and debris will trap inside of the filter material and the water will physically raise up. So you'll tell when the filter socks are getting dirty. If you don't change the filter socks, literally the water will pour out of the top of the filter sock back into the sump. You don't want to wait that long. Your purpose is there's a lot of organics building up in there and organics can break down into nutrients like phosphates and nitrates. So the more often we change these filter socks, the higher our water quality is going to be. So we want to remove these and change them. Now, most people typically change about once a week. Some of the reef hobbyists will change them every day or every couple of days. Now, as far as changing these filter socks go, we're going to reach in there. We're going to pull it out of our sump. We're going to go to find our bucket and we're actually going to dump this against the bucket and see what falls out. It's amazing. I found snails in there. I found hermit crabs or I've even found fish in my filter socks that jumped and got spooked and jumped into my overflow of my sump and found themselves into my filter sock and they were still alive, which is great because I love my little fish pets. So once I've cleaned my filter socks out, make sure there's nothing in them, then I'm going to clean them. The tricky part is if I took them over to the sink and I tried just to rinse them out at the sink, these pores are so tight I'll get very little debris out of them. They'll put them back in, they'll clog up very quickly again. So some people actually take them outside and take a power washer and hose them off out in their driveway. And that works pretty well. But my preferred method is to put them in a washing machine with some bleach. Since we're using bleach and aquariums don't mix, I prefer you to go to the website and look at our resources. It shows the exact steps of how to wash your filter socks with bleach. And by the time you get to that final step, your filter socks will be safe to be able to use back in your sump filter again for your tank and your pets will be happy. Now, the final step is to know when to get rid of your filter socks. When, when do you throw these away? And what's going to happen over time is this stitch actually wears down. And as it does, this seam pops open. And you'll actually see water coming through and pouring out the side of that seam. 
time to throw that filter sock away. The other thing that's going to happen over time as we're washing these, the material will actually start to thin down. It'll actually get very, very thin here, and we know it's time to change the filter sock. If we don't, it'll actually wear a hole through there. So change them and replace them. Now, when I clean my filter socks, I like to clean them in a group because when I take them out, if I only have one filter sock to clean the washing machine, it's not very many. So I actually take them out, I'll put them into a bucket, I'll put a lid on there, and I'll collect six or 12 or so, and I'll wash them at a group at a time. That makes it a lot more efficient. Now, as I said, filter socks are excellent at taking particles out of the water and to keep that water crystal clear. But if you really wanna have high quality water, then change these filter socks off and get those nutrients out of that tank Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what we talk about, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.